Uh, why does science have to be so difficult? Hey, what is that? Hey! Where am I? You're in a cell. How could you not know that? Ah, uh, who are you? I'm Raina. Raina the ribosome. Wait, what? I'm a ribosome. We can be found in both prokaryote and eukaryote cells. No more fancy names. Are you sure this is a cell? I'm too big to be in a cell. I'm made up of cells. Is it my turn to be confused? Are you here for something? Mr. Membrane must have let you in or you wouldn't be here, but... Okay, look, Reyna, or whatever your name is. I'm not from here. I don't know who you are, and I don't know where I am! I told you, you're in a eukaryote cell at the moment. I'm Reyna the ribosome. Ribosomes are cell organelles that consist of RNA and proteins. We are responsible for assembling the proteins of the cell. Depending on the protein production level of a particular cell, we may number in the millions! Wait, there are more of you? If all the ribosomes are annoying as this one, I don't know even how I'm going to survive here. So, um, is there anything else I should know? Really? You really want to know? I'm so happy! I shouldn't have asked. There are two places that ribosomes usually exist in the cell, suspended in the cytosol and bound to the endoplasmic reticulum. These ribosomes are called free ribosomes and bound ribosomes, respectively. Endoplasmic reticulum, we call him ER for short, Hi. is called rough ER when ribosomes are attached to him. Free ribosomes usually make proteins that will function in the cytosol. I personally am a free ribosome. Bound ribosomes usually make proteins that are exported from the cell or included in the cell's membranes. We ribosomes are the protein builders or synthesizers of the cell. Since I'm here anyway, and this is really, really weird, and I have a science test tomorrow, could you explain to me about how ribosomes, I mean you guys make proteins? There are two pieces, or subunits, to every ribosome. Ribosome can vary in size, although an average ribosome measures about 200 angstroms in diameter and consists of about 40% protein and 60% RNA. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid, whose role consists of carrying instructions from the DNA for controlling the synthesis of proteins. During translation, ribosomal subunits assemble together like a sandwich on the strand of mRNA, messenger RNA. The first transfer begins on the P site of the ribosome. Then, the next transfer RNA enters at the A site with an attached amino acid. When the transferred DNA is in contact with the messenger RNA, there is complementary matching of the nucleotides. A nucleotide is one of the structural components or building blocks of DNA and RNA. There are three nucleotides on the transfer RNA and on the messenger RNA. The anticodons are found on the tRNA and the codons on the mRNA. These make sure that the amino acids are in the correct order. The messenger RNA passes along the ribosomes in groups of three nucleotides at a time. While this occurs, the initial transfer RNA is moved to the E site and its amino acid is passed on to the amino acid at the P site. While this happens, a new codon is introduced to the A site. This process continues to pass along its amino acid to the P site. This creates a growing amino acid chain. When the messenger RNA is at its end, a stop codon is encountered. The ribosomal complex then falls apart and releases its newly formed protein into the cell. Wow, that's a lot to take in. I'm quite sure you'll understand it soon. Right. Hey, who's that? Looks like Lisa the lysosome, and someone else that looks like you. Oh my gosh, that's Will! Hey Reyna, I can't believe you're here too. Speaking of cool, this is cool Reyna. Can you believe that we are in a cell, and we get to learn about organelles from organelles? Yeah, that's not actually that cool. Well, after you hear about Lisa talk about lysosomes, you'll understand. No, no thank you, I don't need to hear that. Hi there, I'm Lisa the Lysosome. Oh, Lysosomes well, I might as well body. listen.